What's up, money? So in today's video, I want to talk about two meme coins that I am extremely bullish on. I think that these meme coins could potentially make people some life-changing gains. At the end of the day, though, I could always be wrong. So make sure you do your own research. Now, before I get into which meme coins I'll be covering today, for anyone that's a leverage trader, make sure you check out my link to Margex down below. It requires no KYC and is powered by TrendView, so you could do your own TA right here from the platform. If you watched my last video on Tongcoin, I talked about how there was two buy points where I was considering to go long. One at $5.30 and the other down at $4.70. Unfortunately for me though, I had no sleep that day and I ended up passing out with my phone in my hand right before I put that order through for at $5.30. And if you take a look at the charts, this thing literally went down to about $5.28. So my order would have been activated and I could have rode it all the way back up to about $5.90. So that would have been a nice pop on my investment. That would have been some easy money. Whatever, I missed that one. It's all good. The price is coming back down right now and maybe I'll get another opportunity to hop in. I also have this one down here sitting at $4.70 waiting to get activated. But getting into today's video, the meme coin that I want to talk about, the first one anyways, is going to be resistance dog here. And the reason I want to talk about resistance dog is first off, yesterday at like 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock in the morning, I made a quick alert to my Patreon members. I said, keep an eye out on resistance dog. There's, I think that this thing could potentially run. And then maybe like an hour later, I said, I bought some resistance dog at 44 cents. And when it comes to these meme coins, any sort of news is going to drive these things like immediately to the moon. And you have to be early. And I was pretty early because right now looking at the price, this thing is currently sitting at pretty much 80 cents. So I'm up pretty nicely on my investment. It actually went as high as about, I think it was like 95 cents yesterday. So yesterday was a pretty good day. There's a link to my Patreon if anyone is interested in checking that out. But take a look at this on resistance dog. You see all these exchanges? I can tell you right now that this was not here yesterday. This KuCoin, this BingX, this Mexi, all these exchanges was not here yesterday. The only thing here was DDoS. This is where you had to go to get some resistance dog. The question is though, is it too late to get in to resistance dog if you're not already in it? Well, I'm gonna say this. First off, never chase the bull. Always, There will always be another opportunity because I spoke about Sun, what, maybe like four or five days ago. And if you guys have been following me, you already know how that one performed. And I said, never chase the bull. Always wait for a pullback. Right now, Sun is pulling back. Could resistance talk pull back? Absolutely. That being said, I think that we are just the beginning of what's about to come because look at everything that's happening with Tong Coin and just there's a resistance just happening right now. So right here on Ton's Twitter account, what do you see? This picture right here this resistance dog photo and then you look at a couple of the hashtags that they posted 21 hours ago digital resistance free Durav. Durav is telegram's founder and he's currently locked up for anyone that's not aware of what's currently going on um free Durav, and this is a pretty big movement because even andrew tate is talking about free Durav. Trump, I believe, also said free Durav. Elon Musk is saying free Durav. So this is a pretty big, big movement that's happening right now because the word is they're trying to, um, they they locked up Durav because he doesn't want to add censorship to his Telegram platform. So they're charging him with a whole bunch of things, and people believe that it's nonsense. But moving on. The next meme coin that I want to talk about, and it's not just one meme coin, it's a whole bunch of meme coins. It's more of a narrative play, and that's the um, political meme coins here, because the debate is coming up in just a couple weeks, and I think that these political meme coins are going to start to slowly take off. If we take a look at Poly Market here, we can see that it's neck and neck, literally, between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. People don't really know where to place their bets. But that's not bad. That is not necessarily a bad thing because when it comes to these meme coins, that means that maybe both of them is going to skyrocket. We don't actually know. So I think that it's a good idea 
to find a Trump coin that you like and a good idea to find a Kamala meme coin that you like. Right now, I've got MAGA pulled up because this one is like the biggest one. It's sitting at a market cap of 167 million. And because this one is the biggest one, it's not going to, it's considered to be less risky in comparison to the other ones, right? You can find anyone. There's Super Trump. There's, I think there's, there's just way too many Trump meme coins at this, at this point, but find a Trump meme coin that you like. And hopefully things can slowly start to take off. A lot of these coins have crashed significantly to the point where it probably is a good buy opportunity. Again, make sure you do your research. Make sure you know where you're actually buying these coins at. If you want another, um, if you want a Kamala meme coin, you could check out this one right here. Crazy Kamala. Maybe this could do some good things too. I've talked about Kamala Horace a few times on my channel already. That thing had exploded. It's come back down significantly. Maybe if you want to take a look at that one also. But I definitely think that you should be holding some sort of political meme coin because some real money could be flowing into them very, very soon. But again, none of this is financial advice at the end of the day. I can always be wrong. Maybe a pump doesn't happen. Maybe a dump happens instead. Who really knows? But that's what I have for you guys today. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and check out a few of my links that I have in my description down below. Until next time, take care.